Crane wrote, guilty of capital murder as alleged in the indictment, signed by the full person of the jury and the printed name of the full person of the jury. Guilty. That's the verdict an Orange County father received today for the murder of his two-year-old daughter. Savannah Roke's death just rocks Southeast Texas. The details of this case oftentimes bringing the judge, jury, and even Yovanis himself to tears. 12 News reporter Amelia White's been in court all week for the testimony. She's here tonight with a reaction to the verdict. Days Jordan, a two-year-long investigation and a three-day trial are over. We're getting reactions from the prosecutor and defense attorney on this case after listening to the verdict. Prosecutor Bard Anderson says today was a mix of relief and an overwhelming sense of justice. That we had to fight so hard to get justice for, but we felt that the evidence was uh, in our favor. Evidence that led to a sentencing of life in prison without parole for Orange County Father Yovanis Roque. Nobody quit for Savannah and we weren't about to quit when we got up there. Two-year-old Savannah Rogue was murdered by her father, Yovanis, with a claw hammer in 2019. Defense attorney Ryan Gertz argued Rogue suffered from mental illnesses during the time of the crime. Dr. Grappon said, and that is, if he was not insane, then no one is insane. There, there's no getting around. He was insane. It was ultimately up to the jury to make that decision. The decision was absolutely in their hands and they made the correct decision. Uh, the decision was uh, appropriate given the evidence and the law. Nine men and three women found Roke guilty of capital murder. Girk says after the verdict, Roke is upset. It, not well, not well. His, I mean, he, he, he was, as you know, I mean, he missed two days of trial because of the how difficult this process was on him. Girk says following this tragic case, he hopes people will start to pay attention to mental health with we've got to fix mental health care more uh, broadly in both Texas and the United States when it comes to the criminal justice system. Prosecutors hope the loved ones of Savannah, the community and officers can close this gruesome chapter. I certainly hope that they also feel an, an immense uh, sigh of relief. Anderson says today jurors use their vote as a voice for baby Savi. Savannah, what kept us going was uh, her face and uh, knowing that she didn't have anyone else to fight for her right then. Again, Roke is sentenced to life in prison without parole. The sentence came shortly after the verdict since the charge carried an automatic penalty, according to the court. Amelia White, 12 News.